Um, here we go. <laughs> Hello my shiny bays, hello my besties. I am joined today with <laughs> Steph! Oh, the crowd goes wild! Thank you, thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. Take a bow for the people. First things first, if you see a reflection on my glasses, you, you mind your business, okay? Because there's nothing I can do about it. I have to wear glasses because yesterday I like put on mascara or something and it poked me in the eye and now my eye is all messed up. Yesterday she's like, can you blow in my eye? Can you blow in my eye? And you were like, I don't see anything. I was like, there's something there. So now I have to wear glasses due to the fact that I cannot see without them. And so if you see a reflection, just, I'm sorry, okay? You're just gonna have to deal with it. Any, what was that? <laughs> Is there like a train passing by? We are clearly in Steph's home, as you can see. Look at the bookshelf behind Welcome us. Welcome to my home, everyone. The beauty, the grace, the Miss United States. Oh, hold on. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, I'm filming. Love you. Well, must be nice. <laughs> Today we are going to be answering your bookish questions. We went on Instagram, ta-da! Here's a little Instagram story if you don't follow me on there. <laughs> I'm embarrassed for you, you should go do that. And we asked you to ask us questions. We're making a video on my channel and on Steph's. If you don't know Steph, t tell them about you, you and your channel. You know. Hi, I'm Steph. <laughs> I what make videos <laughs> on YouTube. What do you want me to say? She makes videos on YouTube. I also know how to read. She does. And I'm going to link her video down below so you guys can go watch right. it as well. This is like my very first booktube collab and I'm so excited. Yeah. We're bringing back collabs like the old YouTube days. Oh my God. Cute. Love that. <laughs> so we're going to be answering questions. We screenshot some. Is this going to be remotely a good idea? We don't know. We haven't we prepared. Did. I don't know any of what she picked. Yeah. And I don't know what you picked. Yeah. What she picked is going to be on her channel. What I picked is going to be on my channel. So if you don't follow Steph, I need you to go do that right now. I'll wait. Oh, thanks guys. No, look, look, we're waiting. They didn't know. No, okay. Yeah. <laughs> First question. What is, oh wait, I actually don't know this. What is one book you both rated five stars? Besides the obvious. The OGs. Yeah, we can't count those. We can't count our series, I feel. So it has to be like maybe a stand. A like, standalone. Or even if it's like interconnected. Oh wait, The Right Move, right? You rated it five stars too. Yeah. The Right Move is one of the best books. How could you not by Liz Tom Ford? Yeah. Ryan Che. That's my boyfriend. Silent Love. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually Steph's, That's so cool. if you like him, I fear you have to stop. <laughs> Love that. Who are your top three book boyfriends? Okay, now I'm gonna need to think about this. I'm not. What, really? You have them? Mm -hmm. Like right away? I have my top two. What? Tell me. Zayden from Fourth Wing. Okay. Wow, I did not expect that. Reich Meadows. Okay, <laughs> I expected that. Zayden, really? Yeah, I don't know what it is. He just does it for me. Wow, I really like him too, but I didn't expect him to be a top one for you. Honestly, I can't be picky. Beggars can't be choosers. You're so right. Like, so you don't have any. The rest of them <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Ryan Shay, no? Yeah, but I just said that, so I feel like I should call him another one. What about Noah Riley? Do you like him? Is he the cute, the nice one, not the brother? Well, yeah, not the other one. Why I would I say that him. one? It's the way I'm trying to think for you when I should be trying to think for yeah, me, and I literally <laughs> haven't even, I haven't even thought of anything. Hold on, I'm gonna think. Hold on. Yours are gonna be like dark and evil men. I know you're so right, <laughs> and you're like right, Meadows. <laughs> I don't want to say what I want to say because I know- Oh, my other one is Johnny Kavanaugh. Oh my God, good one. Thank okay, you. so I'm gonna go with Gypsy because uh -huh. since you did Johnny, I'll do Gypsy so that we can be like, you know, differentiate them. Okay, Gypsy, Lauren Hale. What? Don't tell me. <laughs> why, why did you make that face? Do you not love Lo as much as I love Lo? I love him. Okay, you guys, I could just tell. I feel that she's lying to me. Oh, okay. I love them all. You know I love them all. Okay, and then if I have to pick one more, one more. Okay, resand. There you go. I don't know that man. So you, you will meet that man I once will. you read. I, I don't want to sound dumb. I have no idea who this man is. I mean, he could be walking down the street. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know a thing. Okay, that took us forever. But Reich Meadows, Zayden, whatever his last name is, Ryerson, right? Ryerson. We don't know. He Who's your last name? Not me forgetting. Oh, Johnny. Johnny. Okay, and then Gibsy, Low, Resand. Which book character reminds you of the other person? I love you both. This is my Roman Empire. So You're hard. my Roman Empire. That's also so hard. That is really hard, and I'm not gonna lie to you. I've been trying to think of this since I, I screenshot that question. Yeah, I have book amnesia. I was telling her I don't remember any characters ever, what they're like. So. I literally don't remember what books I read. Like I'll read the book, yeah. I'll close, and I'm like, In that one year. <laughs> and then I talk about it one time and then I never bring it up again because yeah. I can't remember. I'm like, I don't remember what that book was. Oh, so that's the best book I ever read. I know I loved it. Not one detail. Know. Yeah. Okay. Like I feel like I have an answer, but I need to explain myself with my answer. I want to say Indy from the right move solely because of the fact that she's I'm like dating a Ryan Shay. <laughs> solely because you're dating Ryan Shay. And because you're a hopeless romantic like she is. She like loves other girls and like being like other girls. She's like, I love Taylor Swift and I love coffee and I love this, you know? Yeah, like a girl's so girl. Good. And she's also a baddie. But then oh, I was also gonna say a mix with Rose Calloway because she hates men. I feel like you get very <laughs> I love that one's like, hope it's romantic, but you hate men. <laughs> hope it's romantic and you want to find the love of your life, but also you hate men, so I don't know how that's going to happen. You know what? That is so bad. <laughs> Literally explaining you in a sentence. 
<laughs> right? Those two put together. Does that, that make sense? I really appreciate that. I Thank really you. killed that. So do better. I dare you. I was gonna say you're giving all the addicted girls mixed together. Oh my god. But like Lily and Daisy. Yeah. And also I'm trying to think of a standalone girl that you remind me of. Not like the really awkward parts of Lily. <laughs> you told me like <laughs> you're like so quirky. I'm like <laughs> you're like really embarrassing. <laughs> I never know what you're going to do. I actually don't want to be around you most of the time. <laughs> no, but I love her. I love her too. It's getting hot in here. I want to say Brenna. Who the fuck is Brenna? <laughs> <laughs> From The Risk. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like, well, that's just like what I envision you as. That's yeah. more like what you look like. Okay, Hannah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, kind of cute. Oh, my God. I vibe with that. <laughs> Except right now, I'm like giving the most sunshine thing ever. I'm not giving Brenna at all. She's like so dark and moody and I'm like, give me my pink sweatshirt romance. <laughs> okay, that was good. I'm very like proud of us for that one. Okay, I feel like this is such an easy answer. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why I screenshot this. Bookish family you want to be a part of. Addicted. Yeah. Duh. Addicted. Like easily. I wish. We're both Callaways, imagine. <laughs> why is that? Except we're not. Except we're not. Like imagine I'm, being a part of that world. This is so off topic, but you know how they just have that random sister who's not included in anything? Poppy! Why? She, I kind of feel bad for her. Me too, like why is she there? But imagine like going on the trips that they go on. It's their three sisters together. and you're not invited. Granted, she has like a family, like she has a kid, but also- But even in Like Us, when they all have kids, she's still yeah, She's still, yeah. Well, in a world of Daisy, Lilies, and Rose, I'm Poppy. <laughs> Aww. Aww. <laughs> okay. Fuck, Mary kill, the Calloway sisters, Boys of Tommen, Magnolia Parks, which happens to be our favorite series. I'm marrying Addicted Calloway because I need to have them keep them forever. Okay. Fuck, Boys of Tommen. Okay. Because I love them, but like, not as much as Addicted, but like, almost. Okay. But like, I don't want to one and done them. I want, but like, yeah, okay. I'll have to do what I have to do. Kill Magnolia Parks, sorry. Okay. I sadly would also kill Magnolia Parks, I fear. I love Magnolia Parks, don't get me wrong. Same. But there's just a lot of it that I would change. Same. Right? Like, and so I'm not as invested. Yeah, I'm not as attached. I could wait for another book, whereas yeah. if it was the other series, I'm like, I need to have it now. Yeah. So kill my right. parks. But that where I'm gonna have to switch is I think I'm gonna have to fuck addicted, like Mary Boys of Tommen. That feels morally right. It feels right because I can't just I can't fuck Boys of Tommen. But fucking addicted sounds right. You know, Lauren Hill fucks better. It sounds right to just fuck them. <laughs> like they could be my fuck buddies. I could keep them around. Oh. And then I'm Mary Boys of Tommen because I feel like they're oh. so pure. Like you said the sentence fuck Boys of Tommen, and my brain was like, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't feel right, but like in the emotional way. Yeah. Make love. <laughs> Sweet love to Boys of Tommen. I'm not just one and dunning it, okay? <laughs> that was both valid. Don't yell at us. Those are our favorite series, but we had to choose what we had to choose. Favorite characters from Addicted Calloway? Um, like ranked? Oh, ranked them all? Okay. Oh god. It's like, why are you so prepared for this? Because I've thought about this every day for okay. like four years. Okay, you're right. You go first. Okay, ours are gonna be so opposite. Are they really? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm excited. Do, do you want to do starting with your favorite or starting with your least favorite? Starting with my favorite. Okay, go. Break. Daisy. Cute. Connor. Love. <laughs> this is going down. This is going downhill. Rose Lily Lo. No! I knew it! I love them all. It is like picking a favorite child, but I can do it. You had such an easier time than me. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this as fast as humanly possible. Lily Lo. Yeah, I literally took your bottom and I put it at the top. Okay, now it's when it gets difficult because I don't really know if I could choose between Kabbalah and Razy. Like, every day I change my mind. Same. Like, that answer will change based yeah. on my current feelings. Yeah. Like, your vibe. Like, am I feeling adventurous? Then I'm loving Razy. Yeah. Am I feeling, like, fancy? Then I'm loving Kabbalah Way. You know? Yeah. Okay. Lo, Lily, Daisy, Rose, Connor, Reich. Wow, we're so opposite. Yeah, it's literally the opposite. That is literally <laughs> so opposite. It's like, I also love them all. Yeah. But if I had to choose, I just, Lily and Lo, they... They're the OGs. Yeah, they tug on my heartstrings. And, like, I love them as if they're my parents but like they're my least favorite personality wise <laughs> i love them as if they're my parents but they're my least favorite <laughs> parents <laughs> out of all my parents they would rank at the bottom honestly though i feel like if you were like a child of one of them it would make sense for you to be daisy and mike's child like you love Except to travel Celia, i don't want to be we don't talk about her you are traveling the world which two characters from a book are you taking hold on i really need to think about this yeah you go first first of all i'm not really a big traveler you are so you should like know this right off the bat i need I someone hate fun plants. and i need someone who knows how to survive in case things go wrong nice I thought you were going to say knows how to surf. I was going to say, what an interesting <laughs> thing that you want to know. I need two characters that like, wouldn't want to stay indoors because I don't really want to do anything. I, in fact, need two characters that don't really want to travel. Can I stay home? <laughs> I actually don't want to go. Stay. <laughs> they can actually go and I'll stay here. And I'll just like live vicariously through them online. Okay, I feel like me and Zara from The Fine Print could have fun. You would have fun. She's fun. She's cute. She's like 
sunshine, but also she struggles, you know? If I have deep talks, I feel, so yeah. have fun. Yeah, yeah, I feel like that's one. I wanna bring girlies. I don't wanna bring men. <laughs> Oh, and I want to bring Jules from Twisted Hate. I love her. She's one of my favorite girl, like, main that, characters. I should have used that as who you remind me of. I think I would bring a man. You would bring a man? One man. Which man? <laughs> <laughs> and for why? I mean, I understand for why. I would but... bring a man for entertainment purposes. <laughs> and also because, like, if I didn't want to do, like, the man tasks. Okay, Like, true. if I had to go hunting or, like, okay. take out the garbage. <laughs> She's just a like, girl. I don't want to have to do <laughs> that. That's valid. Or if my car broke down and then me and the girl will go have fun while he's doing that. They're smart. Okay, so which man? It has to be a man that would be useful in that situation. Yeah, I need a man who knows how to get shit done. We're so different. I went for like two girls who like would not help me at all. Like, but just for all some stranded. reason, I'm thinking stranded on an island. Not like- Yeah, why fun. are you not thinking like I don't traveling? Know. Like we're traveling. Yeah, that changes things. Yeah, like we're not I'm dying. I'm thinking like if I need to like forge for fun. Yeah, like we're, like we're fine. Like we're just- We're like in we're Europe. Going to Paris. <laughs> Yeah, no, you could like, you're having fun. Oh. Let's say nothing goes wrong. Oh, we're having fun. Yeah. Okay, I'm still gonna bring a man, low key. Okay. I'm gonna bring Kai from Powerless. Oh, cute. Because I have a crush on him. Okay. And I think if we were like on vacation, he would be forced to fall in love with me and of then we have to date and get married. It would yeah. be like forced proximity, cute vibes. And then I would wanna hang out with, why is this so hard for me? I don't know. I think I bring like Summer from off campus because she's fun. Oh my god. Have fun. She is fun. That's a good one. And then you'd fall in love with Kai in the meantime. Exactly. So you're having a romance, having a friendship. I love that for you. And I would just to have a friendship doing nothing. That's great. Okay. <laughs> Tips for starting a booktube channel. I'm hesitant to do it, but really want to. Love oh, you. Oh, that's a good one. Love you. Okay. Just do it. <laughs> That sounds like such a dumb answer, but like sincerely, <clears throat> it's just like you full send it and do it. If I would have thought too much about it, I would have never actually done it. If I yeah. would have let myself talk. Because when I posted, I didn't even think anyone would watch it. And that was kind of reassuring to me being like, eh, whatever, just do it. Yeah. Don't post for like thinking about viewers and thinking mm -hmm. about people watching. Post for you and like you enjoying it and you wanting to talk about books. Because that's what I did. I was like, yeah. I just want to talk about books with people. Yeah, I was like, so bored. I posted during quarantine. Yeah. I was like, I have no friends to talk to, nothing to do. So I talked to the camera and literally me and now we have all these friends and also remember that everyone brings something different i feel like mm -hmm. a lot of the times people are like there's so many booktubers and, and book talkers and what have you but everyone is so different like if you look at steph's content it's so different than mine but we both bring something to the booktube world you know mm -hmm. what i mean and there's like all these other people that even if we read some of the same books and stuff we're talking about it differently we're doing different things so you have something to say and you should do it people want to listen yeah us we're people we want to listen <laughs> We sound like we're doing like a, a commercial. We're like, us, we want to listen to you. <laughs> Submit your requests now. But actually, if you want to do it, just do it. Don't even think about people watching. I think I was always scared. Like, what if people from school watch it? Well, oh, literally, who yeah. cares? At the end of the day, nobody that makes fun of you is in a better place than you. Absolutely not. It's also like everybody that's like, it's embarrassing that you're doing that. I'm like, no, it's no. embarrassing that you care. It's embarrassing that you're watching yeah. what I'm doing. That's somebody else is doing. It. Yeah. Like what? If you're having fun, that should be it. What is that one Taylor quote that's like the worst kind of person? You, someone who makes you Someone who makes dumb you feel dumb or stupid for, for yeah for getting excited about yeah. things you love yeah that's the one what book got you into reading okay well like originally obviously like the OGs like Hunger Games like Divergent, Divergent Twilight but like not those because I feel like I stopped reading after that yeah, it was like the first like contemporary and romance I started right? reading again I feel like it had to be Colleen yeah like it had to be like, like the classic ugly gateway. love yeah like it had to be like ugly love or November 9th or like something mm -hmm. like that but also I really really remember reading The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue like I remember vividly picking that book up and then so. wanting to read again after that. So it was around those lines. It was either something by Colleen or- Did Invisible you get your right from like TikTok? Like how did you- I think so. <clears throat> I think I was just like randomly scrolling and I just had an account of like looking through everything. And then I think The Invisible Life of Hattie Lou were like came on my thing. And I looked at that and then I saw Ugly Love and I got yeah. that. And those are the two that like I, I feel read. like TikTok made everyone start yeah. reading again. But mine was, this is embarrassing. What is it? Mine was After by Anton. <laughs> I've never read it. Well, don't read it now. Yeah. It was a time, it was a moment in time. But I read it back when I was in like, High school on Wattpad, and then when it in 2019 when it was becoming a movie, I reread it, and then I was like, I read like that whole series, like all the books, and then I started reading from there, and I read Off Campus, off -campus. and then Addicted. Yeah, back to back, Off Campus and Addicted. I was like, I'm obsessed with reading. Like that's it. That's all you need. Yeah. Off Campus was also a big one. Yeah, and then I made my first video with me talking about after Off Campus and Addicted, and that's how it all started Cute. on TikTok, right? No, on YouTube. My first YouTube video. Your first that. YouTube video is that? Yeah. I love my first YouTube video is me reading The Deal. Oh wait, how cute. <laughs> We actually have so many things in common and I don't think we realized that yeah. until we like met up and then we were wearing the same bag and then we had the same shoes and, and the then we had tattoos. a lot of the same tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, who's copying? That's, 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 that's Spider-Man meme when they're like pointing at each other. Literally. <laughs> 
<laughs> Did you read a book because of each other? Okay, yes, I thought about this already. I wanna say two. There's many more, but immediately what comes to mind is In a Jam by Kate, what is her name? Canterbury. Can Canterbury, I always wanna say Caterpillar. <laughs> <laughs> In a jam. And then Before We Were Strangers by Renee Carlino. I feel like oh, I saw you talk about that. I've screenshotted probably like a hundred of your TikToks throughout time. Yeah. Of when you're holding a book. I'm like, okay, screenshot. But immediately Love Redesigned, Lauren Asher. I remember you said that was your favorite Lauren Asher book and I read it right away and you were right. Wow. It's really good. I mean, you. I actually hated it. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> and The Dark Verse. The first three books I read. Wow. And you liked them, right? Yeah, I loved. Especially the first two. I love them. Even if it's in third person, that series is just so I good. Know. I feel like that's a good gateway for dark romance. Yeah, because it, it's not like really dark. Yeah. No, not at all. That's why I like it. Yeah. I'm just too soft <laughs> for all of it. <laughs> okay, those are really good ones that we've gotten from each other. If you had to kill- Oh, no. <laughs> No, because I already know your answer to this and I don't want to hear it out loud. If you had to kill off one member of the core six, who would it be? Okay, like I'm gonna sound evil because like he is the blueprint and I love him and I, I would know. die for him. If it was like me or him, I would take the bullet, but I'm killing low. I knew it. Just cause he just like, sometimes he just really irked me. Like he he had the highest of highs and then the lowest lows were sometimes just like, wow, you're pissed. Because he's human. Yeah, no. <laughs> you know, I know that's why I love him. <laughs> And I would die for him. Dang it. Okay, I'm gonna kill Reich. See, so that's okay because yeah. that's my fave and your fave. And <laughs> would I kill Reich though? I do love Reich. You know, Reich basically formed the core six. Yeah. So <laughs> you're like, not to like stir the pot, but I'm just saying Reich is perfect. No, he really is actually. I'm in between like, cause I can't kill Connor, I don't think. Connor wouldn't even let me kill him. I know. But like, like killing one of the sisters feels so You can't wrong. kill one of the sisters, yeah. you can't. Can I kill Poppy? <laughs> that's not one of the core six. <laughs> I guess I would have to kill Reich. Yeah. Well, you know who we haven't been place. including in any of this is Willow or Garrison. Yeah, they didn't say core eight. Okay, if we're saying core eight, I'll kill Garrison. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would kill Garrison. He's great and I love him, but I feel but like the, because they came attachment. later, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm least, not that attached. Attachment. So if we're counting core eight, I'll kill Garrison. If we're doing core six, I'll kill Reich. We never talk again after this. <laughs> I'm like Ooh, blocked. No. <laughs> How could you convince Steph to try another dark romance? I just, I wanted to include this question on here because I want to hold her accountable on footage so that you guys have this oh as no. your receipt. <laughs> that yesterday we wrote down a list on her notes of dark romances she was going to read for another like reading dark romance for a week. Yeah, because I was, I just don't like them. And I was telling her I don't like them. But then she gave me a list of what she thinks I will like. Yeah. <laughs> Debatable. Okay, I told well, her- she convinced me. I told her God of Fury. I really think you'll like that one. Like truly in my heart of hearts, I feel that. I don't know if you'll love Hunting Adeline, but because it's the second one yeah. and, you're like, and we're entertained with the first. I read the first one. I just never- Yeah, so you could finish it. And it'll be entertaining for the video regardless. Yeah, yeah. I told her Kill Switch because she hated Corrupt and Hideaway. But so did I. But in my video, Reading Dark Romances, I was like, if anyone tells me to read Kill Switch, like, don't even comment it. You can literally go click off my video because I'm never touching that book. I hate them. I hate them so much. Me. So Kill Switch. And then I wrote it down. <laughs> you. Okay, you're ready to fine, I guess. What else were the other ones? Oh, the rest of the Dark Verse. The rest of the Dark Verse series, because she didn't finish that. I don't think you'll love it as much as the first three, but I do think you'll still like it. I do think God of Fury might be your favorite in I'm Malice. Excited, but I don't know if I'll read that whole series. I don't think you will. I don't know if she'd like God of Malice. I would have recommended that, but I don't know if she'll like it. So I feel like God of Fury like can be a good stepping stone to see if you like it. And it's an MM. It's so good. It's like Grumpy Sunshine a little bit. It's like Boy oh, Obsessed. I, like that. I What's think you dark will. about it though. Well, it still like has a lot of dark topics, mm. but I think it's like in the dark scale, it's not that mm. dark. Oh, I'll, I'll probably like it. Compared to like other ones. Yeah, I think you would like it. If I watch your video and you're like, I hate it. I'm like, well, um, your favorite author. We were just talking about this. Mm -hmm. I love Emily Henry. I was gonna say standalone author that I'll read any book she comes out with yeah. is Emily Henry. I love Lauren Asher. I love Marianne so, Zapata. Me too. Yeah, I think those are like my OG three. I also will say I love Elsie Silver too. Me too. But I, I haven't read like her original I'm series. I'm reading the original series right now. I'm halfway through. Okay, like, do you like it? I do like it so far, not as much as Chestnut Springs. Chestnut Springs, okay, that makes sense. I feel like I also love Liz Tom Ford though. I do too, I like all three of those books I really like. Me too. I do like Lucy's score as well, but it really depends because I didn't love some of her books. Yeah, there's some that I don't like and some yeah. that I love. So. so like if we're like talking every single book I'm reading, it's Lauren Asher, Mariana Zapata, and Emily Henry. But that's like series authors aside, because like these authors, like Christopher McRitchie, Chloe, Wolf, like I would read all their books too. But oh, 100%. I but, but like for instance, I'm trying to think of if I've read anything else by Kristen McRitchie and I don't think I have. I haven't either, but yeah. like I read all those. So there you go. I'd have to agree. You have great taste. Hey, so do you. <laughs> Twisted series or Dreamland Billionaires? Dreamland. Dreamland Billionaires. Done. I do love Twisted though, but I just, I didn't like Twisted Love all that much. Yeah, I really just love the second one a lot and the last one a lot. I like the middle one the most. Third. Twisted Hate. That's my third favorite. Yeah, I love that one. 
That's my favorite favorite. But then Twisted Lies. Wait, but then Dreamline Billionaires, I didn't love the most recent one. Final Offer? Yeah. Okay, so that's valid. So I don't know. But I think I'm still gonna say Dreamline Billionaires because the first two were five stars for me. Yeah, I love Dreamline Billionaires. It's pretty much all five stars for me. How do you recommend finding more time to read? Tips for a nine to five girly. Reading before bed, I think, is I was, my only thing. That's all I do. Yeah, because reading during the day makes me feel like I'm doing nothing. Even if it's my job, I'm like, I can't I'm just like lay in bed and read during the day. It feels wrong. And I feel like I can't concentrate. Does that happen? Yeah, I'm like, there's there's other things I could be doing. Yeah, like I'll read one yeah. page and I'm like, I should be editing. Or yeah. I, could, I could be filming something else. I could be yeah. like, you know? Yeah, no, I'm the same way. I read before bed. Usually I'm in a slump right now. She's gonna get out of it. We're like, yeah. we have high, high hopes. But I usually read like from 9 p.m. until I fall asleep. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes it goes till 4 a.m. Sometimes and it's still And that's neither 11. here nor there. Yeah. If I put my phone next to me, I I'm will scroll. On it, yeah. Like I will find it. I'll use an excuse. I'll be like, I could just find like an aesthetic for this video, for this book, <laughs> like, and see what I feel about it. But if you put your phone far away from you and then read at night, mm -hmm. I feel like that could be good. And then, you know, nine to five. So you could like, you know, make your dinner, go to the gym, like do your stuff. Yeah. And then at night. But also a big thing for me is audiobooks. That is so That's a so huge real. way to read, like read more. You could do it while you're driving, while you're doing chores, while you're cleaning, mm -hmm. shopping. I do it while doing any task. I'll leave my yeah. audiobook on. Lately and I've been coloring. So, I was gonna say, I was painting this <gasps> in my audiobook. I feel so productive. I'm getting two things done at once that I love doing. You're painting? That's so yeah. cute. Watercolors, I'm not like a professional. No, but that's amazing. I'm like mm -hmm. coloring like, like the picture's done. I'm just like <laughs> putting it in. That's so relaxing. And I use like markers. I'm just like, oh, that's so fun. Like kindergarten. Yeah. <laughs> that's so fun. Like kindergarten. <laughs> I'm picturing you with like crayons, a coloring book. That's literally me and my headphones, like listening to my little audiobook. There's like hardcore smut going on. You're like, <laughs> not kindergarten at all. No, exactly. I feel like that's the best way. Yeah. So when you're driving to and from work, the audiobook. If you have Spotify, yeah, get them, they get have audio books there. Yeah. Exactly. Perfect. A book you rated one star. You go no first. No hate to anyone that loves these books. Oh god, what because is it? I don't like when people say one star is about my favorite. So I know people are not gonna be Me happy. Me too. Pucked by Helena Hunting. Oh, never read it. Don't. I won't. <laughs> I've never heard of it. I, a million kisses in your in our lifetime or whatever by Monica Murphy. I did not like it all, but I wouldn't say one. I liked it. I think I rated it four, but I, I liked say it. That's like a two. I Okay, one. I didn't rate this one one. I think I rated it two, but now that I think about it, I hate it so much. Like I always talk about how much I hate it. It's Credence by Penelope Douglas. Never read. I hate it so much. Is that the one where she has sex with her uncle? Yeah. Oh, so like, yeah, I won't read that. Granted, <laughs> step uncle. It's like incest adjacent, but that's still too close for me. Like it's like incest adjacent. <laughs> I don't mind the step like trope, like for yeah, instance, like in, in like Clueless and like Life mm -hmm. with Derek. And I love some of the books I love, like for the fans. Have you heard of that book? For the fans by Nyla Kay. Mm -mm. <gasps> they're like stepbrothers, mm -hmm. but they meet when they're like about to go to college. I've read books like that. Before. Yeah. So they don't like live together or anything. And with Credence, granted they meet later, but she goes to live in the mountains with her two step cousins and her step uncle. The whole family? Yeah. And she gets with all of them. She has sex with her whole family? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew about the uncle thing. All the cousins and Wait, the so they're uncle. all dating all four. They all like, well, she like is choosing between them. Does she pick one? Said, yeah, at the end. It's not even the one you want her to pick either. Oh. I won't spoil it for you, but it's not the one I wanted her to pick. And then she like, while she's doing it with the uncle, she's like, oh, Uncle Jake. Oh, why would you say that? Like, so I have like beef with that book. Uncle Jake? While well, they're doing it? Yeah. Oh, no, no, yeah. no. You would feel the same way as me with that book. So that's mine. But that's if you like that book, you perfect. do your thing. Yeah, you do your thing. Us. Ew. I'm us. pretty sure my friend. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure my friend, I'm not going to say her name. She doesn't do social media, yeah. but I'm pretty sure that's one of her favorite books. Yeah, okay. See, slay for her. I just like slay respect, but yeah. not for me. Not for me. But like you do your thing. <laughs> yeah. I, I like some questionable ass books, so it's okay. Me too. <laughs> if you could pick a book to be adapted into a movie, which one would you pick? None of them. Oh my God. I just don't want them to ruin it. No, you're so right. But a TV show I think would be really good would be like any sports romance series. I was or thinking any that. interconnected standalones. Yeah, like imagine if they were doing like Dirty Air. Yeah. Like, like into interconnected standalones, like yeah. interconnected. Into like different yeah. series, like season one is throwing. Well, like I always think collided. about yeah, like any sports romance series, like I keep talking about off campus, but it's just right in front of me. Like even if they did all those couples in one series that was going on at one time, like everyone at the same school, it'd be so fun to follow along. It would be so it would be like the OC One Tree Hill, yes. like nine. 2 it would be like those so, OG shows. But like a movie, I just feel like they would ruin any of my favorite books. No, you're right. A movie would not be good. I also feel like I could never have them touch Addicted. No, it, never. I picture it perfectly in my mind. If I heard that Addicted was getting adapted, I would be so upset. I would never watch it. Like I'm never standing That's like, it. I don't want Fourth Wing to get adapted. Oh no, 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 no. But really? I think it is. Oh. 
I think it is, but I don't want to because I know that they're not going to do it how it is in my head. Same with Akatar. I don't think that they would be able Didn't to do that, it well. Didn't that like fall and through? I'm pretty, I don't know. Oh. I don't know what's happening. I don't keep up because I'm yeah, like, I don't want to. Okay, okay, but you know what? You're very right. Like any Angel Connected standalones, I feel like they could do the Twisted series, the Off Campus yeah. series, Dreamland Billionaires, and they could do that well. Like they can make it into like those 2000 TV yeah, shows. Yeah, I was going to say, any like realistic kind of teen drama. Teen drama. <laughs> there you go. Like the Semi Turn Pretty, I feel like was really well. Yeah, done. they did it really yeah. Because that's a show. They got like time to like. Mm -hmm. What book would you recommend the other person? I want you to read God of Fury so bad. I'm just gonna die on this hill. Like, when you read it, I'm going to be the happiest person alive. Unless you don't like it, in which oh. case I'll cry. I think I'll like it. Yeah. I'll update you when I read it. That's the one that I want you to read. I don't know what you haven't read that I read besides normal people, but I don't even want you to read that because I know you won't like it. Yeah. Like, one day I do want to read it because I know how much you love it, but at the same time, I don't know if I'd like it because you, like, told me open ending kind of vibe. Because the only reason I really like it is because I really, like, I relate to it. Uh -huh. But, like, you're in a happy and healthy relationship. <laughs> You're like so you're stable. gonna be like, what the hell is this? Can they get their shit together? I'm like, oh, that's so mean. Oh my god, <laughs> I relate so much. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, I don't. I, I think I've, I'm pretty sure I've read like a lot of these. Have you read all of these? Oh no, I haven't read any of those. I haven't read everything oh, I know. Whatever, I love whatever. Everything I know about love. It's a memoir. Yeah, I haven't read that. I haven't read like us. I do want you to read like us, but more so we could just talk about it. Not yeah. that I think you'd like it. Yeah. Like I do think you'd like it, but I'm not. Yeah. Not like life changing. Okay, valid. You haven't read Once Upon a Broken Heart either, right? Mm mm. Me neither. We have to read that. Oh, we really do. It's like everyone talks. I want to read like Caravel and Once Upon a Broken Heart and everything before I read Actar. I think. Oh really? To like, prepare yourself? Yeah, and I just feel like Actar scares me because I know Actors I'm gonna get up. So it's gonna be my good. whole personality. If you could save one book from a fire, which one would it be? My cat. Oh wait. I thought it said if you could save like one thing from my fire. cat. <laughs> hmm, I've never read that book before. <laughs> Written and directed by Taylor Swift. <laughs> yeah. Some kind of perfect. I was gonna say some kind of perfect, but also now I have a signed copy of Normal People that's signed by Paul Mescal, so maybe that one. Oh yeah, you'd have to save that. But like some kind of perfect. My annotated copy, my OG annotated from when I first read it. Me too. Like all my I teardrops yeah. in it. Oh my god, actually this is a funny story. That kind of happened to me because I was reading some kind of perfect one day in a hotel room and I like had gotten stranded in New York and I oh. because it was like a snowstorm and my hotel room was like it didn't catch on fire, but like the basement caught on fire. And I remember I was like looking for my some kind of perfect copy. <laughs> I left. <laughs> yeah. Where is it? <laughs> so technically, I did save it. That was it your first reaction. From fire. Yeah. Wow. Was my first reaction was to get that book. Thoughts on prologues and epilogues? I could do without. Same. Like, I feel like that's such an unpopular opinion, but same. Like, epilogues are always the same. They just get married and have a kid. Yeah, and I'm So bored. I'm kind of like, we already knew that was going to happen. But prologues, I feel like, are sometimes are necessary, like a little backstory, but I also could do without. Prologues, I feel like, are more important than epilogues yes. to me. I just feel like epilogues, yeah, if it's just the same thing over and over again, where they're like 10 years later and they have a kid and they got yeah. married, and I'm like, I'm aware. I just feel like that's boring. But an epilogue novel, else. some kind of perfect, Amazing. get it to me now. Yeah, immediately, yes, because then you just get more crumbs of the characters yeah. and like more little things about them. Closure. That I would love to yeah. get like little things about the characters. But honestly, I skim read like every epilogue in every book. Me too. Usually the same. And I'm bored by then. Yeah, and I'm already over it. Like they got their happy ending. I'm like, okay. Once they get their happy ending, like I'm done. I think yeah. that's why I like Mariana Zapata so much. Yeah, because that is true. I've been looking for a similar silver into that, and I've never found one. <sighs> it's so hard. I really don't think like anything remotely comes close to it. I feel like Marriage for One is a slow burn, but still. Yeah, I read that. That's right next to her. Yeah, it's good. She's just a slow burn queen. Have you read all of her books too? No, I haven't read the new ones. Oh, I read when Gracie met the grump. That, yeah, one? Read that one. It was okay. I didn't love it as much as the other ones. Okay, I have an answer for this one. Favorite bookish tattoo the other person has. This is gonna sound funny because I don't love this book, but the song of Achilles tattoo she has on her foot like, is my show book. me your feet. It is a bow and arrow. She essentially has a bow and arrow with a heart as the point. And I think that's really cute because it also represents like Archer, Taylor yeah, Swift. Archer by Taylor Swift and the Song of Achilles, which is one of my favorite books. Exactly. So I think that that's really adorable, even though I, I don't love Song of Achilles, but I also don't hate it. I rated it four stars. Yeah, mine is your for keeps for sure. For keeps. That's just so cute. I and just, I, love I love Binding 13. And I love how it's just there, like in the, my hand. Yeah, that's perfect placement. Yeah, she killed it. My tattoo artist lace. So how do you arrange your bookshelves? Literally, look at this. Incredible. <laughs> Uh, Show stopping. Everyone hates on me for it because like, why is what? it? Because it's so chaotic because I don't organize it. Have you but seen mine? Mine is, mine is like disgusting right now. Do you like there are books like, on top of the other books. Okay. Yeah. That's how I like it though. I like how this looks. Like I do it on purpose. Like I have room to spread out, but I don't. No, I think it looks nice. I think it looks chaotically you. Like it looks like I use it. Yeah, which as it should because yeah. your books are loved. I think that's cute. But mine is not really organized besides I've read these books. These are my favorites, and then I haven't read these books. That's it. What is your organized like? Uh, nothing, as of right now. Are the authors together? Usually I would do authors. That's what I try to do. Yeah, too, just right now it's a mess because I was like getting new books and then I was just throwing it all yeah, out of each other. Funny. But once I organize it, I like to do it by author. But actually, I do have a sports romance shelf and a small town romance shelf. Oh, that's cute. But that's about it. Oh, wait, I've done oh, a dark, dark romance shelf. I was gonna say, I've done that. I've done like dark romance, small town. But then I ran out, so then I just. 
rom-com and then keep it by author. Yeah, but then I never keep that organization. As soon as I film a video, it's all messed up. Yeah, because then you just throw it back and you're mm -hmm. like, yeah, I'm done. Yeah. Absolute favorite thing about what you do on social media. This, meeting people that you would meet concerned. like without social media. Yeah, so meeting people and then having support from people like online. It is very comforting to know that people care about you. <laughs> that people like are like <laughs> that people like you. <laughs> Go you. Yeah. Yeah, and like people are so sweet and then yeah. cheering for you. Yeah. And I just love women loving women. Oh. Kiss Mary Kill. Accidental pregnancy, miscommunication, amnesia. Those are like the worst tropes. I know. I hate amnesia like with a passion. Me too. If that's my kill, I think. I think Wait, I would kill amnesia too. Not to spoil. But at the very end. Yeah. yeah. No, but you're right. <laughs> that's one of our favorites. Okay. I think I'm kiss, miscommunication, marry accidental pregnancy, and kill amnesia. I think I would do the same. Yeah. Because miscommunication, like, it's not awful if they fix it. Yeah. But sometimes you really and, piss me off. And, but sometimes it is necessary. You're like, want to spice the book up or something. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, I would do the exact same thing. Last question is, if you could only read one trope for the rest of your life, which would it be? Slow burn. If that counts as a trope. That is a trope. Okay. Slow burn. I think mine would be small town. Cute. Because I was going to say there could, be, there could be tropes within that. Like a small town enemies to lovers. That's so yeah. valid. Mine too. Slow burn. Yeah. Grumpy sunshine. So Slow that burn. gives us more room than just saying enemies to lovers. Because I couldn't like stick to reading enemies to lovers only for the rest of my life. I'd get like, it'd start being repetitive. repetitive. I think I would all do a slow burn. Because I, like I said, I'm like very bad with that. I get bored when the couples are in yeah. together. Yeah, insta love is my least favorite trope. Me too. So I get so bored. I'm like, okay, well now so you're in love, yeah. and I just don't Once care. they're happy, I'm like, okay, I don't want to see this. <laughs> I don't want to see you happy. All. I literally don't care. <laughs> Skip the epilogue. We don't care. Yay! Those are all our questions. We hope you enjoyed. And we tried to answer as many as we could. Like I said, go to Seth's video so you can watch us answer more. As you can see, this was a little difficult for us, but we tried our best. Anyway, this was so fun. Maybe we'll do more videos in the future. We probably will. I love you so. Have such a good day. Bye!